back on Inside Tennessee. We'll talk about summer book recommendations at the end if we have time. But Don Bosch, we were focused on the legislature and you talked about the slate of hate as critics call uh, a series of a half dozen bills that passed this session. Uh, Susan had a great question though. What is the legal challenge that some of these bills may face in court? Will we see all of them hold up or what do you expect? Well, I can virtually guarantee that all of them will be attacked. Uh, I do think that uh, we kind of set off air that I thought some of this, these questions have been settled over 100 years ago in the Scopes monkey trial. But uh, we, the First Amendment is going to provide some protections. Uh, uh, some of the anti-discrimination laws on our books are going to provide protections. It would not surprise me whatsoever if ultimately all six pieces of legislation that have been passed are struck down by either state or federal courts. What we need to understand about this, folks, is even though there may be people that agree with these bills, these are going to be struck down likely, if not all of them, and they're going to be at taxpayer expense. We have to fund this litigation, and ultimately, if the lawyers that bring this litigation prevail, we'll be paying those folks too. This is not good business for the state of Tennessee on all fronts. Susan, we heard a Republican this morning say that at least one of those bills may be uh, hurting an effort to recruit people, if not more of those bills. What are you hearing among fellow members of the GOP about them since a majority of the legislature says this is a good move for the state of Tennessee? Yeah, this, um, I think Representative Manis is unique um, in his thought processes about this. These bills passed overwhelmingly in the Republican supermajority. And it's, it's interesting to me what Don was talking about. Tennessee has more anti-LGBTQ bills than any other state in the nation. And then he was also talking about this critical race theory bill that was passed as well. And the governor signed it this past week. Uh, that particular bill would prohibit public school teachers from discussing racism or white privilege or uh, conscious bi unconscious bias. And I, I'm, I'm kind of with Don on that. I feel like we settled that argument a long time ago. But um, it's clearly a huge issue in the Tennessee uh, General Assembly. And um, I don't, unless something dramatic changes uh, between now and next January, I think you're just going to continue to see more of those bills come forward. Don, we're about a minute 30 left, but I want to shift to the county because the county commission did pass the mayor's budget and uh, we didn't see a lot of discussion about it. We did see some raises in it. There are some raises, but interestingly enough, there's some uh, sort of favorite children in it, sometimes with some merit. Sheriff's department gets 5%, teachers get 4%, which really isn't 4%. Others get only 3% or less. Always this dynamic, but again, it goes to show you that the 400 pound gorilla typically in Knox County politics tends to be the Knox County Sheriff's Department. 30 seconds in your take, Susan. I'll give you 15. <laughs> uh, well, I, yeah, I, I agreed with that. You know, we had Sheriff Spangler on our show a couple of weeks ago, and when he told me their starting salaries were $35,000, that was shocking to me, So clearly they need a raise. We appreciate you watching and have a great rest of your Sunday. If you missed an Inside Tennessee, you can always find it on the Inside Tennessee page at WBIR.com.